I was born to ride, says Italian reigner Gennaro Lendi, the 2016 FEI World Reigning Champion, and now a podium hopeful at the World Equestrian Games in Tryon. The work means to me is the best, the most important and prestigious show that we have in the equine discipline as a reigning. So it's for me is like an athlete that is uh, competing at the Olympic, Olympic game. And um, yeah, for me it's really important. I really feel the pressure of this big show. Located in the Casale Maritimo region of Tuscany, Italy, Gennaro is a professional reigning trainer and breeder at the ranch of Italian photographer Oliviero Toscani. Alongside his business, Gennaro has been training for the WEG for nearly a year. I saved uh, one horse just for this show because I believe that this is once every four years I have uh, this chance not every year. So uh, I will try to do my best and I'm doing all everything to get there at the best. With reining being one of the smaller equestrian disciplines in Europe, how did it all begin for the Italian? When I was nine years old, uh, my dad brought me to this um, equestrian center where the day uh, had reining horses. And uh, I fell in love with that because I like to be a part of the horse. And for sure, in every discipline, this happened. But what I proved that the, in the reining, this um, closer touch between riders and horses, it's really special and that's what what make me fell in love with this you know make me feel part of the horse makes me feel happy and satisfied on the day we visited Gennaro we were also joined by Marco Manzi a former reiner and the current chef de keep of the Italian team I know Marco since I was a little kid uh, since I was a uh, nine or ten year old and um, of course, he was uh, one of my idols when I was a little kid because he was already on the magazine and uh, so it's for me an honor to be coached by him and uh, we have a good, good uh, relationship, we are good friends. Okay. Marco has first-hand experience of competing at major championships and was part of the Italian bronze medal winning team at the WEG in 2002. It was an amazing experience being there uh, be just behind the USA team and the Canadian team that were our teacher, our people that we were looking to, you know, to, 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 to learn what we were doing it was really great. Great experience up be in my heart forever. Although one of the smaller disciplines in Europe, Marco has seen the sport grow and develop since he first started reigning over 40 years ago. When I first start, nobody knows anything about reining. No people were watching us and don't even know what we were doing. You know, so when I start, our job was more like telling people what we were going to do with those horses. And on, and then you know, slowly, he just you know just start to to grow and grow and grow and you know always always more people get involved. The growth of the sport may have taken some time, but one thing that hasn't changed is the strength of the reigning community. There is a really friendly situation and we love to spend time together, we love to talk about our job, how to make it better. We try to help each other, you know, try to, to find the best solution and maybe during a dinner, during a lunch, it is a good time to also talk about work. We first met Gennaro and Marco last summer at the FEI European Reigning Championships in Girard, Switzerland, where more pasta and an excellent run from Gennaro helps the Italians take bronze. Last year in Girard was a really good show for me, and I rode this horse, Marilyn Monroe, and um, I chose it to ask the best in the team competition, and uh, that brought us on the podium because she was uh, uh, in the individual, as individual score, the best score. I was very, very happy about that, that run. Competing is a big part of Gennaro's life, but behind the scenes, he's also choosing and training horses who could make it to the top. What I really look for is a good mind. 
I've rode many uh, great athletic horse, but I have to say when you don't have a great mind you know, that supports you during the show, it's very hard to win. The last part of the puzzle for Gennaro, and perhaps the most important, is building the relationship with his horse, like with his world champion stallion, Yankee Gun. What uh, uh, makes me feel happy is try to be one thing with my horse. You know, that makes me feel happy, makes me be a better horseman. That, I think, is what makes me wake up every morning and try and try and try the best of what I can. Yankee won't be making the journey to try on this September, but instead, Gennaro will be taking another wonderful ride. This year I'm going to show Spatatino, which uh, is uh, one of the best horses I've ever ride in my career. For me, it will be a special time to be in this community and of course going there with Marco, which is also a good friend, so that would give me more power than what, uh, what uh, I would have in a normal show. With less than two months until the World Equestrian Games, we wish Inaro and Marco all the best in their preparation. In next month's show, we meet more reigners who'll be heading to try on. Husband and wife duo Anne and Bernard Fonk have won silver for Belgium at the last two WEGs and are looking to go one better this year. Until then, from me, Izzy Clark, and all the team, goodbye.